got completely away from the game plan tonight in the first half because I think we were almost too anxious to win the series. We gave them way too much life in the first half. The fact that we had a lead with a minute and a half is just speaks to who we are, but it's kind of a, a miracle at that point. They got one game. We got, you know, we got a, it's a good team with MVP uh, player on their team. They're, you know, they're not going to just lay down. When you get one, you get that level. It's just a different type of confidence. You know what I mean? It's different when you're down 0-3, man. Everybody's looking around at each other like, we got to figure this out. And then you get one, you're like, oh, okay, so we can, can do this. You know what I mean? There's a level of confidence that comes with winning. Um, and that's why they're so good because they've won at the highest level. They've, you know, they've built a dynasty over there. I had fun. I, re I really did. I, I was, I was at peace all game, regardless of the result, because of how we were playing. I'm just so proud of our guys, man. I, the, the thing that was keeping me up at night, um, aside from my daughter's going to a prom, was just uh, I didn't want to get swept. I did not want to get swept. You know, there's something about getting swept that just eats at you at your core. Order triggers. Tried to lob it to Wiggins and they give it away. I would like that play call back, frankly. It's a good two for one situation, but uh, the lob wasn't there. If I could do it over again, I'd probably uh, draw up something different. You'd love to keep rolling like we were and not feel what, what losing's like in the playoffs, but I think it's, it's a good test for us. We got to go home and take care of our business and close out the game and not come back to Denver. They have to do their job and close us out. We get to play with house money. Um, I'm not counting on them to play tight. We were talking about the Warriors here. Um, they've played in much bigger games, if I'm just going to be honest. Out of all teams in the playoffs, I think we're probably the most comfortable being down 3-1. Can I say we have them right where we want them? No. Uh, but we're live. For more, let's go back to downtown Denver where Anthony Slater from The Athletic has joined us. Now, we've we, we've absorbed today. We've we've chewed it up. We've, we, we're sort of kind of digesting it that what say you because it looked to me like oh boy warriors they're trying to <laughs> they're trying to go quick and win this thing right now i just felt like man they they need to slow down a little bit what say you yeah i don't think this is something this is a game or a result that makes you wonder like could denver storm back and win four straight i still think the warriors have obvious advantages in this series i think a lot of stuff tilted denver's way uh but you know when you have a closeout opportunity in the NBA and potentially a week of rest ahead of you, you want to get it done, especially with Memphis and Minnesota. This was kind of a golden opportunity to get maybe a week extra rest and they blew it really, in, you know, against the Nuggets. They'll go home, they'll get a closeout. Joe Lake will get maybe some extra money for with an extra home playoff game. But, you know, there were some issues you saw tonight that I think could come back maybe later down the line in the playoffs, even if it's not in this series. Two last names I never thought would come out of my mouth. Highland and Morris. I was like, oh, boy, these guys have been in witness protection, but not today. Yeah, you know, Gary Payton has done a really good job on Bones Highland. Bones Highland had a really good second half. He's a rookie scoring guard. He's probably going to be like second team all rookie. Uh, but Payton had really shut him down. But Gary Payton had some, uh, I guess, foul issues and some stuff pop up early. And he, you didn't really even barely see him in the second half. Highland got it going. to Marcus Cousins, I thought, had some nice – uh, moments and then you mentioned Monte Morris you know I think he hit what five threes the Nuggets hit 15 there was just defensive miscommunications like we hadn't seen in the first three games and some of that just when you take away urgency sometimes from a basketball team they they're just not as attentive defensively and I just thought up 3-0 there just wasn't as much focus yeah that was the other thing okay let's it's not as simple as well let's just go game five and and, and get rid of it there I mean you wanted to do it today but Platt, did you think maybe the the, the foul issue and and the substitutions that kind of had to be made to cover for that played a role in this because I was shocked to see Kaminga I was like wow look at, look at Kaminga getting playoff minutes yeah you know there was some buzz behind the scenes that they were going to try Kaminga in game four I think they wanted to get his feet wet there's still a belief like he will in different matchups where the athleticism from the opponent is jumped up that I think he's going to be needed uh, and also that second unit just wasn't scoring and, and he can score. He came off the bench. I think he had nine in like 10 minutes or so. Uh, but as far as the foul trouble goes, I mean, biggest play of the game is Draymond Green's six foul. It felt like they were about to take over and win. And then Draymond gets his six foul and then Nuggets are able to hold on. So that wasn't like a necessarily a bad call or a bad foul, but it's the accumulation to get to the point where you have five fouls in that moment. Clay Thompson, who was really hot shooting, had to sit on the bench a few times. He had 
four fouls in the first half and had to play a little bit differently. And overall, 27 team fouls slows the game down. The Warriors don't want to play, you know, a slow style Denver does. So this was really played at Denver's pace in Denver's arena and everything kind of went right for the Nuggets. It's part of the reason why, like, you don't expect that same thing to, for, you know, that formula to play out in Chase Center. Last one for me. You don't expect to come back to Denver again, do you? No, I don't. Uh, Steph Curry, 37 minutes tonight. I expect him to be in the starting lineup uh, in game five for the first time. I expect him to go small more. I expect them to understand the chance ahead of them, which is to, you could still get, you know, at minimum two days extra rest from a Memphis or a Minnesota. Uh, and they've been really good at home. And I just like Denver still can't guard the three guard lineup. And I think Poole will play better at home than he did today. So I do not expect to be booking a trip back, but I've seen crazier things in the NBA playoffs. I must say that. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. But either are, we will welcome you back home when we see a game five on Wednesday night at Chase Center. Thanks so much for a few minutes, man. Yep. Thanks for having me.